thanks for watching Appalachia App Reviews brought to you by Appalachia.com. And uh, today I've been drinking way too many bottles of water, so uh, my sobriety level may be very off. So, how do I check if it is off? Is with this application, Are You Drunk? Spelled with the letter R, the letter U, and drunk. Now, when I open the application, it tells me this. The Are You Drunk application is for entertainment purposes only. Passing or failing these tests in no way indicates your legal blood alcohol content or your ability to operate a motorized vehicle. To be safe, if you drink, don't drive. Alright, so the first thing I noticed was the I tried the balance test where they have to make you get on one leg and balance your phone. And even me being uh, sober for 15 years could not pass the balancing on one leg and uh, getting the dots to line up exactly how they are. Let me see if I can demonstrate this. Alright, you see the red, you have to get the red and the green dot to line up in the circle, and you have to do that for 30 seconds, and I failed every single time. So, that is one thing that's quite a problem with this app. The straight line, I had the same problem, when you walk the straight line. And then this alphabet test, which tells you in 45 seconds you have to do the entire English alphabet from Z to A in less than 45 seconds. Now I gotta tell you, I can do the English alphabet in five minutes backwards, but that might be just me. Maybe there might be somebody out there that can do it, but sure wouldn't be me. So this is how the police go when they're trying to catch a criminal. Or not a criminal, a person driving under the influence. I, I would be screwed, for seriously. And then this hand-eye coordination thing, I passed it, but you gotta tell me right now, there's this little, tiny, little white dot, you don't even see it. There it is. Little, tiny, white dot, and what you have to do is literally this thing is gonna start moving, and you have to touch it while it's moving, and it speeds up, and speeds up, and speeds up. And it gets ridiculous. Oh, look at that, look at that. It's ridiculous. So, if this thing can really gauge if you're drunk or not, then I must be drunk right now, but <laughs> I'm not, or I wouldn't be making this review with you guys. So, uh, Clash. Well, okay, I don't think this app works either as a, a game or as a test to see if you're drunk or not. Uh, maybe the app should be called You Are Drunk because you bought that, and it's kind of expensive. So... I'm gonna give this one a fail because uh, it tells me all the time that I'm drunk and I'm pretty sure I do not live in a constant state of drunkenness. At least I hope not. And I'm pretty sure I'm not. But yeah, that, I didn't like this app at all. Me neither. I'm gonna give this one a fail too because it doesn't work for the purpose that it was designed for because I failed every single test, including the breath alcohol level meter where you blow into the phone and it's supposed to gauge your blood alcohol level in your mouth. I don't know. So, thanks for watching uh, Applash App Reviews. You can find us at Applash.com. And Saturday, June 20th, we're going to have our first ever Applash podcast. You show up at 6.30, we're going to be doing live call-ins and some giveaways. So, show up or be square. Or you can just be square. I don't care. <laughs>